Let's check out the weather now with Dave. It's been an interesting weather day. Humid, and then we got some, uh -huh. some showers some some places, and some other dynamics are happening. A couple of spritzes in the valley, yeah. yeah, but the big deal is the subtropical moisture in the high country, and the temperatures are like at 100, and it's sticky down here. Let's go to our Holiday Inn Sacramento downtown arena camera looking at the river and the Pioneer Bridge there on US 50. And yes, you probably saw the clouds stream through. They started to come in on Sunday. They've been off and on today. And with temperatures in the upper 90s and low 100s and dew points on into the upper 40s in some spots, it, it, it does have a, a sticky feel to it. It's a very subtropical kind of feel out there. So let's take a look at our temperatures, see how we're doing right now. We got 96 in Sacramento, 99 Stockton and Modesto, 100 for Marysville. The humidity is 19%. See your dew point at 47. Luckily, we're not like in the mid 50s. It would be really feeling ugly out there. Winds are southwest at 12, gusting to 20. We're trying to develop a bit of an onshore flow, a delta breeze, and the barometric pressure is falling at 29.89. So we'll just take a look here at our satellite and radar combined, and you can see the moisture is off to the east. We did have uh, a shot of seeing some of this moisture move up to the north. In fact, right up here, I'm going to turn around and show this to you. It's right up here. That particular cell right there, that is is the smoke plume off of the fire up there, the Dixie fire. However, it created such heat today and yet so much particulate matter going up with the extra humidity. That's what generated the pyrocumulus cloud that is up there. And I think six o'clock we might actually have a time lapse of that cloud getting formed. All right, so you can see the lightning strikes and everything. Well, all this will shuffle off to the east, so we should dry things out around here. We'll take the lightning strike threat out of the high country, which is good news. Too bad they didn't get a ton of rain with these guys up there, but any wet weather on the fire lines is very welcome. Plus the extra humidity is welcomed as well. So that goes off to the east. We cool a bit for tomorrow. We're talking 93 to 97 as opposed to the upper 90s and low 100s that we experienced today here in the valley. Even better for Wednesday and Thursday before we start to see the temperatures go up a little bit as we head on toward the weekend. So here's a look at your Tuesday. It's a lot better than today. Not quite as humid. Upper 90s still around Patterson, but mid 90s around Stockton. Morning lows will be in the mid to upper for 60s. So some spots are going to be pretty balmy and it's going to take a little while to cool down. 65 for morning low around Marysville, probably the mid 90s for high around Sacramento. Up into the gold country, some spots may not get out of the 70s and it's going to take a while for you guys to get out of the 80s through the overnight hours. Uh, daytime highs are going to be in the upper 80s for Pollock Pines to the mid 90s over toward Auburn. And then on toward Plumas County, still smoke and haze hanging up there until we get that Dixie fire done. Temperatures in the low 90s around Quincy, upper 80s for Portola. A little haze up around the Greater Lake Tahoe area. Daytime highs in the lower 80s and you will not have the thunderstorm potential and moisture as you've been seeing as of late. And then to the west, we'll go with partly cloudy 68 for Monterey. And you got an OK sea breeze there. Nice sea breeze coming in to San Francisco. It'll be partly cloudy, then mostly cloudy in the morning hours and partly cloudy by the afternoon in mid 60s. Blustery in 92 in the Delta. There's seven day forecast. We go up, but we don't get too toasty. So on average, we're pretty close to where you'd expect to be. A couple of days here and there where we're below normal. In fact, way below normal 90 on Monday. That's looking pretty good. And here's a look at your forecast for the other locations. Seven day wise cool weather on the coast. Not bad on into the foothills and it looks like we're high and dry and maybe getting back to the upper 70s by the time we get to the early part of next week in the Sierra.